Hello, Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome back to my new tutorial of our TI portal. So we are going to design numeric input and numeric display in our TI portals HMI. So you will see I select an HMI of 10 inches and here is my program which is our PID block PID program for our tank level control and I have selected a cyclic interrupt. You will see it will Make a cyclic interrupt and I am going to just make a connection it for to tank to show that everything is working okay. Going to travel and everything is okay. I just need to connect that to my PLC. which is already in run mode now I am going to root screen so first of all you will see how I use the basic so I am just first of all I am just to make that and drag a box I think I don't need a box I just change my HMI color to white which is looking good white is looking good now I am going to use element and you will see and just use that and I need a, I need for our value called a set point and it is real and we have a value of 1 decimal 0 0.0 to 10.0 so I just uh, going to set that and I am going to select as a decimal I am going to select Select two, and I am going to use this, this as an input. So all we need to and set a tag for it. Going to PLC tag and going to my set point. To check that it is okay, working the okay or not. Now I think I need to set that nine point select to nine point nine which is looking good set point from 0 to 0 0, 0 to 10.0 but, but we don't use 10.0 so I think it's now created I need four more And I am going to set that tag to KP second to TI and third to and our last I am going to use that for error I think these are going to set now I am going to use a text
and name a set point I am going to change that color to black I think I will change the background color I need to change the text color black now I'm going to make a copy of it KP another copy TI another copy TT another copy and I'm going to change my last digital input to only just change the output to see what is error how error is working now I'm going to compile that and I think I need to start simulation to check that is working or not so you will see I am going to put 1.0 and after 1.0 I am going to put 4.0 1.0 so you will see in our TA portal it is working Sorry, I'm not going to Now we are going to see that KP is 4.0 and here is KP 4.0 and I am going to show you TI is 1.0 so here is TI is 1.0 and I am going to select TD you will see it is 1.0 and it is showing a 1.0 now I am going to change my set point to show you I am going to make it 5.0 so you will see error is also 5.0 and our tank is working you will see and here is our you will see set point which is 5.0 here is our level and you will see the error is 2.9, 2.85 you will see 2.5, 2.4, 2.3, 2.0, 2.1 I am going to close that I am going to my root screen and change my error to 9.999 and I am going to save that and compile that start so you will see uh, why our output and I think I need to change to, to input and output and to close that Change that to input and output. Input and output also. Input and output. And input and output also. And I am going to save that I can compile and start. So you will see that tank is working now I am going to change it to 4.0 so you will see error is working reverse and you will see discharge valve is open and it is working so that's how numeric input and numeric display are going to design a TI portal HMI so thank you very much for watching my video please subscribe my channel like my video 
click the bell icon and comments if you don't know much to find anything and don't forget in the description i give links of indosoft scada ignition scada factory io tutorials as well and my also my contact number so thank you very much again for watch my video